Well, welcome again to a, another podcast, Down to Earth but Heavenly Minded. Uh, and I'm your host, Irv Rish, And uh, we're continuing on in our study in the book of Proverbs. And uh, today we are going to be in Lesson 59. And uh, the subject that we're going to be covering and we're going to be moving right along with it is... Uh, Three game-changing facts about God's wisdom. And in this lesson, we're going to be looking at uh, the command, the promise, and the motivation. And uh, so let's move on into our, our, our study. Every once in a while, you see a true game-changing scenario. Like when your team in baseball was trailing by six runs and it was the bottom of the ninth, and you saw a three-run uh, homer, followed by a reloading of the bases. And now the best slugger stands at the plate, and you've got a fighting chance. You know, I always said that baseball was actually uh, three hours uh, of excitement crammed into a couple minutes. <laughs> I never really was much of a baseball fan, but, uh, oh, I enjoy watching the game. In fact, I even enjoyed playing in it in my younger day. Well, in Proverbs 8, uh, chapter 32 through 36, <clears throat> it speaks of one of those situations. Solomon is almost through with his nine-chapter mani uh, uh, manifesto on God's wisdom. He builds the foundation and he's about to invite you into the feast. The, you know, the detailed wisdom in the rest of the book uh, is all about these first nine chapters. But first, he's got a few more pitches to throw. Uh, sorry to keep mixing, you know, metaphors with it, but it's not much different from what Solomon is, uh, does. You know, will you stand or fall? Walk or strike out, get a hit, or stand, stay alive, or get caught looking and retire the sides. Well, that's kind of the scenario that we're kind of looking at here. Now, if you're still not sure what to do with this thing called wisdom, Solomon issues a command, a promise, and a motivation. And now only, uh, and, and it reads in, 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 in chapter 8, verses 32 through 36. And now, O sons, listen to me. Blessed are those who keep my ways, hear my instructions, and be wise. And do not neglect it. Blessed is the one who listens to me, watches daily at my gate, waits beside my door for Whoever and for whoever finds me finds life and obtains favor of the Lord. But he who find, fails to find me injures himself. All who hate me love death. Well, these are the three uh, things that, are, that we're going to be looking at. First, the command. Listen to me. Hear instructions and be wise and do not neglect it. This is, has been the most repeated command in the opening eight chapters of Proverbs. So, here's a list uh, listing as following, and these are all the things that w w we dealt with. Uh, the responsibility of the wise, Proverbs 1, verse 5. The, the prelude of discernment, uh, Proverbs 1, verse 8. The failure of fools, Proverbs 1, verse 24. The pathway to God, Proverbs 2, verses 1 through 5. The discipline of the favors, uh, the favored, uh, Proverbs 3, verse 1 through 4. The uh, urgent appeal of the Father, Proverbs 1, verses 1 through 2. The perception of light and life, Proverbs 4, verses 10 through 11. 
the prerequisition of a personal change. Proverbs 4, verses 20 through 21. The protection of purity. Proverbs 5, verses 1 and 2. Uh, the defense against destruction. Proverbs 5, verse 7. A young man's uh, preservation from death. Proverbs 7, verses 24 through 27. And the conversion of fools. Proverbs 8, verses 5 through 6. So this is kind of the list. <clears throat> and now, O sons, don't neglect to hear instructions. Uh, Proverbs 8, verse 32 through 33. You'll be wise if you but listen. And if you don't hear, you're not a victim, but a predator of your own downfall. Very, very wise words. Okay, now we look at the promise. Blessed are those who keep my ways. Blessed is the one who listens to me. Proverbs 8, verses 32 and 34. Uh, repeatedly, Solomon has commanded wisdom's reception, not out of a sense of uh, disinterested duty, but on account of a Godward self-interest. You know, gaining wisdom is hard work, but it's worth it because your life will be better with it than without it. The one who listens and keeps the commandments is blessed. Okay, continuing on with the promise, as Paul reasoned elsewhere, no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourished and cherished it, just as Christ does the church. Ephesians 5, verse 29. So he says, take uh, the innate self-possession of yours and direct it to your wife. Jesus uh, reason similar in, the, in his summary of the law. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22, verses 37 through 40. He does not command us to love ourselves. He assumes we already do. And he expects us to love others with the same degree of fervor. So what Solomon uh, does, uh, was, so with Solomon, do you want what's best for yourself, really? If so, you'll value what God thinks best over what you think best since God's best is better than your best. Hear the one who, hear the one you fear will be willing to change everything and be blessed. Well, looking at the last thing, motivation. On one hand, there is wisdom, life, and, and the Lord's favor, Proverbs 8, verse 35. On the other hand, there is self-injury and uh, narcio is, uh, I'm sorry, it's um, uh, necrophilia. I couldn't pronounce the word at first. Necrophilia, Proverbs 8, verse 36. Your choice. Do such things motivate you to listen up? When you get this, nothing will stay the same. You know, the command, the promise, and the motivation, these are game-changer facts. You know, they'll change the game about God's wisdom. Indeed, I count everything but loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. Philippians 3.8 Well, in our next podcast, we're going to look at... Uh, Choose your restaurant wisely. And you have to check it out to see what I mean. But really, it's uh, quite a metaphor of this portion of Scripture in uh, the book of Proverbs. So until then, until next time, just remember how I end all my podcasts. God is out here. You can find him. He's in your Bible. And uh, all you have to do is open it and look. God bless. 
and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye for now.